Okay, so the first card is the dog, protection from a powerful friend, and the card above it is the dog far away. So a distant friend is thinking of you. So you've got a lot of friends, and one is uh, immediate friends around you is giving you a lot of protection, and somebody far away has been thinking about you recently. Now you've got the heart card over here, love and deep affection and caring. So you might be, uh, you know, this person that who is very protective of you is also very loving. Uh, and, you know, you've got a very great affection for this person. So they're taking you under their wing and really looking after you. And you've got a friend far away that's been thinking about you recently. So in the past, you've been dealing with a, a younger man, somebody who has been very important in your life. And this person might be a secret admirer. So somebody uh, around you, a younger man being, uh, you know, as a secret admirer, he's got his eye on you. Okay, so going to the future, you've got the pig. So beware of greed. So maybe people around you acting... Uh, really badly because they're being very greedy and you've got the fan which says romance celebration and party so you know this is the party season so you could be going out a lot and having uh, a bit of fun and this is probably what's coming in there might be a romance coming in as well so you're dealing with a friend who's very protective of you uh, you know you very, very you like this person a lot so you're very affectionate and you know they're very caring as well and there is somebody that is thinking of you and it looks like you know the party season is coming is coming in and you're going to go out and have a, a bit of a uh, you know a good time there so that's pretty good so these are the energies for that week okay so you've got the queen of cups over here so this might be a maternal person that you're dealing with a mother figure somebody who's very caring and she features quite heavily in your life right now so you might be uh, you know, getting back uh, home uh, during this period uh, or having a lot more interaction with your mother or somebody who's very maternal and very caring um, and you might be spending a lot of time with them. Uh, this person seems to be somebody that you're, um, you know, communicating quite a bit with right now. And, you know, she, she makes, maybe she, she takes care of you and makes you feel like a child again. So you are dealing with that energy of the Queen of Cups. So uh, what's going on with you? Um, you've got the, um, the Queen of Rods over here, and this is crossed by the Knight of Cups. So the Queen of Rods, there might be somebody in a distance, a, a female at a distance that you are getting some advice and inspiration from. So somebody advising you, somebody, uh, you have befriended, um, and, or, uh, you know, it could be a maternal figure as well, but somebody that you're, you could be an aunt, somebody around you that's very maternal that's giving you inspiration and allowing you to see things from a different point of view she's uh, showing you how to use your energies she's uh, really giving you some good advice and she's allowing you to uh, grow so whatever advice she's giving you you're employing it in your life and you're using that it's inspiring you to do a lot of things but she's not in your immediate vicinity she's somebody that you're uh, uh communicating with at a distance so this could be a friend at the dis at a distance, as the previous cards have spoken. So uh, you've got uh, it's crossed by the Knight of Wands, uh, the sorry, the Knight of Cups, and this is showing that there is somebody coming in uh, with an offer. It could be a romantic offer. Um, this could be even an offer of, um, if it's not romance, it could be an offer about doing studies. Or further education so there's some sort of offer coming in uh, for you in the form of either a romantic offer because he is carrying a cup but it could also be an offer about studying further studying uh, maybe you want to do a course or maybe you want to get in, back into university something to do with studying but this offer coming in for you and that's going to be presented to you soon maybe this woman is advising you either about the romantic offer or she's even advising you about doing further studies but it's something uh, whatever advice she's giving you is going to help you grow further so it's good to take her advice. So in the past, you have, uh, in the past year, it looks like, you know, you are uh, reconsidering whatever you've been doing and it looks like you want to make a brand new start with the Seven of Cups. So you're looking at all your options available to you and you're being inspired and you want to do something new. You want to start again from the beginning. Uh, so you're looking for all the possibilities and you're looking to your past to see what, um, you know, you have not finished or not done and you're looking for some inspiration to try and move forward and so you've got visions you've got ideas that you want to put in to place so you want to start all over again 
Um, so you've got the Knight of Rods over here, and, you know, you have been uh, surveying everything. Um, so these last few months have been uh, almost like a self-reflection. You're looking at what you've achieved, and, uh, you know, you're trying to find out whether or not whatever you've achieved is growing. So whatever you've invested in uh, seems to be producing uh, abundance right now. So you seem to be at a stable position, and maybe you're a bit bored, and you want to make a change. It looks like it's that kind of scenario. This tree has quite got a thick... Um, um, trunk so it looks like it's been growing for a long time so in, you might be feeling like you're a bit uh, bored with what you're doing a bit stagnant and you want something else so maybe this is what has uh, um, brought in this big uh, decision to make changes in your life so you've been working at something for a long time and maybe you're getting a bit bored staying in that particular position but whatever you have been working on has produced a lot of abundance and has made you quite stable with this knight of rods so on your mind, it looks like you have been going and asking for some advice from this knight of, uh, from the king of Pent uh, king of rods, which is usually uh, a father figure uh, in your life. So this person is a person in authority, gives good advice, is very stable. You can see a very very thick tree over there, uh, but in authority. So you know you can see all these mistletoe cut and kept by his feet. Whatever he says goes. So it looks like you're planning on going and asking this person for some advice about what to do next. Uh, this could be a fire sign person, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but whatever the energy is, it's a person of authority and they've achieved whatever they needed to achieve, but they're good at giving advice and they're very, very paternal. So you, there's somebody that you're going to go and ask for some advice from. So it looks like maybe you're going to be, um, you know, going back home and asking your parents uh, with these two cards uh, for some advice about what to do next. So going into the future, you are um, at a point of achieving everything. Um, now, this could be you uh, having achieved, worked very hard to achieve your success, uh, where you're at a very good financial uh, position, where you're stable, you're at the top of your profession. Maybe you want to change jobs because now you're bored after having achieved everything you needed to achieve. Uh, you know, there's nowhere to go but to change jobs completely. Or this could be someone who's a very powerful businessman that comes into your uh, work, uh, into your life, and that person is somebody that helps you get uh, uh, to go where you need to, to go. So he's somebody that helps you achieve what you want to achieve. So this could be either you or could be somebody that you um, uh, go and uh, who helps you along the way, along your path to achieve whatever you need to achieve. Achieve. This is the King of Pentacles. So generally somebody who's very wealthy, somebody with a lot of influence um, in your life, or uh, it could be you. It looks like you are making a change with the Judgment card, so you've chosen a different path. So you've decided that you've achieved everything that you needed to achieve, uh, and now you're making a big change with this Judgment card. So it's a card of transformation. It's also a card of choosing a new a new pathway in life, uh, making a judgment call and deciding that you want, you don't want to do this, you want to do that, you want to transform yourself and change yourself and go on to something different. So here you are at this turning point and now you've decided that you want to change, leave the old behind and move to something new. And maybe this is why you're trying to get input from as many people as possible. So there's this woman that you're getting uh, some sort of um, uh, inspiration from. And maybe it's also something that you need to retrain in, and this is maybe why you're, uh, you've got the Knight of Cups over here about, uh, you know, studying. Uh, and, you know, it looks like maybe you've achieved everything you have, uh, and you want to really, uh, you know, move on now, move on to something completely different. So you're feeling uh, what's going on around you, you're feeling a bit trapped in your surroundings, maybe you feel like, you know, this uh, work has become more like a burden um, than something that you're enjoying anymore. And uh, this is maybe the reason why you want to undergo this transformation and change to something different. Uh, you know, it seems very mundane. You just seem to be doing the same things over and over. And, you know, there doesn't seem to be any light in your life. Um, you, you don't seem to be, you're feeling trapped. You don't seem to be very, very happy. And it looks like this is the reason why you want to undergo this transformation or change your pathways in life. Do something completely out of your element something very, very different, something that nobody's done before. These horses aren't supposed to have fishtails and they're not supposed to be flying. So it seems like whatever you want to do is going to be something extraordinary, something very different, but it's going to achieve 
uh, you know, very great heights of success. So it's something so different that is going to bring big changes, big transformations, not only for you, but for the people in the, in the world, because it seems like you know, nobody's ever seen these flying horses with the tails. So it seems like whatever you're going to do is like a very big vision that you have for this future, a big plan that you want to bring into place. And because, and you're doing that because you're pretty much bored with whatever you're doing. So you're going to bring big changes. Uh, and that's not going to only affect you, but, you know, affect everybody else around you. And you're very focused on this, this new innovative idea. You've got the hermit card of here. You've been spending a lot of time, uh, focused on that particular project that you have. So you want to release something into the world that's going to bring big changes with this, uh, judgment card, big transformations. Uh, people are talking about it, though. People are gossiping about it. Uh, but you are now focused on it and, you know, you are forging it from scratch. Whatever it is, it's something brand new and you're working very, very hard on it to bring it into fruition. Some great I big idea coming in. So you've got the 10 of um, rods over here and you've got the um, knave of cups over here and you've got the 10 of... Um, the the 10 which is the wheel of fortune so with this 10 of rods you can see you're looking for help uh you're looking for somebody to assist you uh you've been working very very hard and now you it looks like you want to take on some kind of partnership uh um, you know you've been really slaving and slogging at this new idea these new prospects and it looks like you, you're seeking some sort of help whatever hard work you've been doing has now come to an end because you have achieved you can see this man has got a laurel crown on his head of here so you have achieved whatever you needed to achieve. You're on the top there. Maybe you accumulated enough finance to be able to invest in this new project that you want. And now you're seeking a partner. You're seeking other help, people to come in and help you and give you a hand in launching this new idea that you have. Um, and it looks like help will come because you've got this as the knave of cups. It is unexpected help. You can see this man's pouring something into this man's cup. So somebody is there. You've been looking for this help and it looks like it's going to be there. So somebody there to inspire you, give you help and assistance and get your project off the ground. And it's very unexpected. You didn't think that they would be interested, but it looks like they are and they will invest in you. So maybe it's this man over here, the King of Pentacles, that is going to be this unexpected help that comes in and, you know, assists you, uh, invests in your project or invests in your idea that allows you to flourish. And this is how you're going to be turning the tide. So the Wheel of Fortune will come in for you over there and bring in uh, positive changes because you are the one that is very instrumental in making the Wheel of Fortune turn right now. So you are going to be instrumental in turning your own Wheel of Fortune. You're going to get this unexpected help from this King of Pentacles who will be able to financially invest in your project because you've been looking, maybe you've been putting out feelers um, and it looks like they are going to be investing in whatever project you have going and this is going to help things change. So big turn off the wheel over here because this is a major arcana card. So whatever big thing you are planning is going to take off in a big way. There's going to be a really big transformation coming in or big change coming in and a lot of success, a lot of achievement, you know, global achievement, if you like. So whatever plan you have in place, whatever idea you have in place is something that's really positive and it looks like people will invest in it and it looks like you are going to achieve whatever you need to achieve and, you know, bring about big changes Maybe on a global scale. I really don't know what this is, but it's just something really big. And you've had this idea for a while. You've been working on it for a while. And it looks like it's going to be something that's going to be very positive for you. And I think positive for a lot of people as well. So let me see what these um, the animal tarot has got to say. So it says the two of winter, which says... Uh, procrastination and worrying about what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you are torn between your own desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. So you need to uh, stop worrying about what other people think about your plans and you need to just go for it with this uh, two of winter. It says procrastination and worrying what other people think uh, is going to be the thing that blocks you and you don't really want to be blocked. So you have a really good idea. So you need to stop worrying about what other people think and you need to go for it. This is how you achieve this uh, big idea. You're going to bring it into, uh, you're going to be able to manifest this big idea. You've got the four of autumn over here, which says, be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things uh, in black and white. Uh, consider, for example, whether you are spending too much or um, whether you are hoarding too much and um, or you are giving away too much emotionally 
um, versus building walls that keep people out. So you need to find a sense of balance with the squirrel card. Make sure that before you start doing anything big that you have uh, put away some money aside so that, you know, if you have problems, um, you know, uh, if things don't work out quite how you want it to go, you don't um, have nothing, you know, that you have something to fall back on because you've got the squirrel saving. So make sure that you are saving up some money, put money aside, uh, you know, in case anything doesn't work out exactly according to plan. Uh, you don't want to end up with financial loss for sure. Then you've got the five of autumn over here, which says focusing upon the negative and worrying about money or your career can block your progress because you trust, you have trust and faith. Um, because your trust and faith are at a low point now, it is not the best time to start your own business or become self-employed. So maybe you have to wait a little bit before you start taking those big leaps of faith. Um, you know, make sure that you are not being negative, though. Uh, put aside some money. Make sure that you have a plan in place. This is always good. Uh, but um, don't be negative. And that's because being negative is the thing that is blocking you from moving forward. So procrastinating, putting things off because what people are saying or being negative about it is not going to allow this project to come to pass. So you need to be very positive. You need to take that leap of faith and go for it. But also you have to take a calculated risk. In other words, make sure that, you know, you have, uh, funds or money set aside so you don't end up in any problems in the future. And it looks like whatever, you know, if you ask for help, there is somebody that's going to be there to invest in your, your dream, somebody that's going to help you push your dream forward. And it looks like it's going to be quite successful, whatever you have planned. Uh, but you do need to stop procrastinating, put that plan in place and go for it. So you need to have, uh, you know, positive action, uh, rather than just having daydreams, make sure that, you know, you are being very concrete have a proper plan in place. And it looks like if you make these changes, uh, you know, things are going to move in a very positive way. You will get the help that you need and the wheel of fortune turns and big transformations happen. Big changes come in for you.